Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. When I was about 12 years old, I walked into a little, you know, mom and pop corner store at the corner of my street and walked right into the middle of an armed robbery. And I can remember it like it was yesterday and I had a, what I thought back then was a 357 Magnum pointed directly at my head. And I remember how terrified I was. And that memory's burned in my mind. And I think because of events like that, uh, it steered me towards law enforcement just for the fact that maybe by some chance I'll be able to, uh, to catch someone like the type of person that put that fear in me that generally to this day I still have. Pacific PD is pursuing a vehicle that's entered Pierce County and right now we've got Pacific along with uh, east side patrol units there in pursuit. The, the pursuit's heading our direction. We're going to try and figure out which way they're heading and uh, hopefully stop this guy or put out stop sticks. Here we go, here we go. Did they just go by or what? Now we're assisting Pacific Police Department in a vehicle pursuit that's entered Pierce County and now it's entered the city of Lakewood. Uh, we're trying to figure out what the reason for the stop is, but right now we're the third unit. 
Yeah. I was looking for the dog. I don't think that's mine. I, it, uh, I think he's stuck right in between those two cars. Where's your car? They're up there. Where do you want to put him in one of our cars? You got a new car? What? Did he come back with warrant or? No, he's clear. So what was the, what was the original stop on this guy for? Expired tabs. Expired tabs. Where at? Pacific. That's a long long haul, man. Yeah. Anybody help you out on the way over? Any uh, state units on five twelve at all? Puyallup. They had uh, strips out at uh, Portland, and that's the exit he took. I wonder if he has a scanner in the car that he... Is anyone yeah, taking a look at the car? What's going on. Hmm. Just be all come up, he took the exit, and then went back on the freeway. Thank you. He's suspended clear? Third. Cool. And he's uh, suspended driver, that's it. Oh, he, bailed, so he threw something out on 512, so I... How far back? I don't know. So anyways, I see Paul in foot pursuit. Guy's running through the parking lot. I cut through the lot. I see him. He runs right in front of the car. I try and cut him off. He doubles back. Ends up right over here at this planter. He's got nowhere to go. So I tackle him, and the Pacific guy comes up and tackles him. Not really. He was just out of breath, basically. He had no energy left. He put his hands behind his back, and in the cuffs he went. Say it on the radio. Do it on the radio. Go over and take a look at the car real quick. Actually, it's the vehicle right here comes back as an onside stolen out of King County. Subject's girlfriend wanted to report it stolen, but the report hasn't been taken yet. This is basically where he ended up. Do you have some? Did he run into your car? Yeah, he did. Now, where, we, where were you? You were in this. Uh, I was just sitting, yeah, in the Camaro. I was just sitting right there. Okay. You know, just waiting for the light. Okay. And then all of a sudden, he comes around the corner. So he came he just, from Tacoma Boulevard and you make a U turn? Right or? over here. He just comes flying around the corner, okay. climbing on the brakes. Okay, so he had a lot of speed when he was around in that corner then. Oh, yeah. Oh, you bet. Okay. And he came around here. Um, he, I looked like he was going to clear me. It really did look like he was going to, you know, like go run. I, you know, going this way anyways, it looked like he was clear me, but then he just put me right on the side. Were there any cars on this side here? Not that I remember. Not okay. That I, I, you know, I You're remember. lucky. You were lucky you didn't get hit on. This guy could have hit on the guy that he ran into. Luckily, along the way, he didn't take anyone else out. They're doing a buy. It's going to be a white female driving an, an 80s white minivan. They don't know the plate yet. So they got the CI in that. Once they do do the buy, they're going to let me know the plate and the direction to travel to do a, to try to do a felony stop on it. They say the last few have turned out to be pursuits for them. So they just run ad on Channel 4 if you want to know. Okay. Um, supposedly she's en route right now. Should be showing up any time. So. For, uh, I guess the vehicle just pulled in, so they're going to try to get me a plate here real quick after they do the buy. We're trying to figure out if we're on them. Stop. Go ahead, stop it. We're southbound number two lane, passing 96th Street. Okay. Come on, come on. Confirm deal. Uh, still southbound number two lane, approaching 96th Street. We're trying to catch up to the vehicle now. It's going to be right up ahead of us. Still southbound, passing 96. Where are you at? Rush, you want to go to Metro? Yeah, I'll head to Metro. Tramway County, traffic. Tramway. Uh, AM, PM, 100th and SCW 109, George David Victor. Oh! 
Occupants of the van, put your hands out the window now! I can't see the driver. Driver! Open the door, step out! Step back towards me! Stop! Step to your left. I'll have her come out here. Stop. Step back. Stop. Drop to your knees. Keep your hands up on your head. Passenger with your left hand under your seat belt. Open the door and step out, face away from us. Step directly back towards us. Keep coming. Down on your knees. Head on your stomach, keep your arms out to the side. Arms all the way out. Spread your feet apart. I'm gonna cut. I got you. You and me go up. I don't have a lot of room, but I. You wanna go? You going? See this fall out of her out of her pocket here when she jumped out? Yeah. She dropped that stuff there. That's her uh, that's her crack cocaine. That's what uh, she just sold to us. Here. How much money do we got here? We got $362. Okay. He wasn't quite sure on the amount he was a little off. He said he's gotten it from his girlfriend to pay a bill. Okay, uh, so that's interesting. He, he kind of knows what's going on now, right? You know what happened. Is this the same girlfriend that was in the van with you? No, oh, a different one. No? Not my girlfriend. Okay. Just a friend in the van. Now, how much dope did you just sell the person that works for you? Roughly. No, I didn't sell any one dope. You didn't sell any one dope? Okay, I'll show you the video later. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to work with you. If you want to work this off, it's something we can do later. Can you show the video. Video. I didn't sell any one dope. Okay. Sure. So. Let me set you in a car real quick. Yeah. He's on uh, active probation right now. He says he's got a uh, correction probation yeah, thing on him for, for delivery, for delivery possession. Possession. And last time it was with a gun, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's a gun in there. I don't know if you've looked okay. around. So when she stepped out of the vehicle, this fell off her lap onto the ground, along with this lighter. Uh, each one of these rocks are 20 bucks. 20, yeah, these are all these are all about 20 rocks. Go for about 20 dollars a piece out in the, on the street. About 300 bucks. Yeah, a little more. That's, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's, it's yellow. I haven't seen dope that yellow in a while. Do you want to tell me about it or not? I didn't know really what was going on until it happened. Okay. The plan okay. was not for me to 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 do anything. Okay. Drive. What was the reasoning you came into she Chevron? Had called, you're right. She had called and she and, talked to you on the phone. Right, she said she wanted right, some crack cocaine, right? Right. Right. And you said, okay, I'll be there. I'm on my way to deliver. Sir, or, oh, I'm on my way. I'm, yeah, I'm on my way to deliver drugs. Yeah. Okay. That's what I would say on the phone. Okay. What did you say? No. That's not what you said. No, no. Do you want to tell me what you said? I don't remember exactly. You don't remember. I said I'm on my way or something. I couldn't see the driver's side, but you said if she got out, she actually it dropped fell. it. It dropped off. Did it really? The, the she Tylenol. Container right that had there, right? the drugs in it. Actually oh, that's fell great. Right on the ground. I saw it fall right on the ground. Oh, that's great. Of course, what she's saying is the passenger threw it at her. Yeah. No, it dropped. No, he had his it hands up the whole time. That's correct. Yeah, when we, we did the that. stop. His hands were up. Right. So, I mean, I mean how and, she could have And it was that. as she stepped out, it fell right there. Yeah, that's great. Well, cool. Let's get to some paper. So, see you guys around. Uh, graveyard's really different out here in the summer. We're extremely busy from as soon as we start to when we get off. In the winter, it tends to die down a lot because it gets really cold here, and not many people want to be out in the cold. It turns to a lot more domestics in the winter rather than a more outside activity in the summer, and the stolen vehicles and um, 
uh, gang violence and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this car over. He's got a cracked windshield. There it is. Three twenty county traffic. Three twenty. Bridgeport at the southbound I five on ramp seven eight four. Not really wanting to stop here, is he? License, registration, proof of insurance. Okay, go ahead and pull that out for me. Are you suspended or expired? It's been suspended. I had a, what degree are you suspended? Um, is that third degree? Third degree. Hey, uh, old ticket. I'm supposed to be working on that now. So. Okay, why don't you hop out for me? Just go ahead and leave your wallet in there. You gotta jump out the window. You gotta jump out yeah, the window. The is stuck, sir. Okay, <laughs> do what you need to do to get out of the car. Come on over to the back, put your hands on the back of the car. He's got something in his waistband. Brockway, what's this in his waistband? Gun, gun. Don't move, okay? Okay. Right down to the car, right down to the car. Go ahead and bring other guy out. Step out with your hands up. Hold on, I gotta secure the gun that's on the ground. Stand right there. Stand there. Go ahead, I'll stand by. Go ahead and just go up and cuff him. Want him to get it? Just set it right on the hood. Spread the legs for me. Okay. You have a permit to carry that gun? No, sir, I do not. Okay, are you felon? No, sir, I'm not. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and to have him present with you while you're being questioned. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand those rights as I read them to you? Barbie, sir? Yes, sir, can. Where's the meth at? No, I have none, sir. I found in the car. Pretty my lady had just the car broke down and just found it. Huh? All right, just been repaired. I'm just getting it repaired. Finished repairing. You were just getting it repaired? It's just finished repairing. Okay, so you found the meth pipe in it? I found that in the car, sir. I don't know who it is. I don't buy it, dude. <laughs> why, why would you put it in your pocket? It didn't need to be in your pocket. <laughs> is he good? Whose gun is it? Um, give it to me by some kid. Give it to you by some kid. What were you doing with it? Actually, I was trying to figure out what to do with it. So you thought you'd carry it around for a while? No, I'm not. I'm not Mr. Trump. Hmm? Well, you're carrying a gun around. You don't have a permit to. Are you going hunting? Okay. You are a suspended third. You're under arrest for that tonight, which is why I initially pulled you out of the car. You're under arrest for uh, possessing the firearm and for having the meth pipe in your pocket. Um, I'm not going to book you on possession of drug paraphernalia, probably, because you've been honest with me. I'm not going to stack a bunch of charges on you. I'll just put it in the report. I'll throw it into evidence. If the prosecutor wants to charge it or not, we'll see. But like I said, you've been pretty cooperative, so I'll work with you, okay? Was there a reason you didn't take the gun out of your uh, waistband before you got out of the car, or what was your intent there? 
just didn't want to reach for it and have it. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I didn't want to reach for the gun and have anybody shoot at me mm -hmm. or say that I was trying to shoot at you guys. When you saw me pulling behind you, didn't want, didn't you want to stuff it under the seat or something so you weren't carrying it? I, I was thinking about it, but I just... You had to realize I was going to find it when I pulled you out. You're going to find it in which way. If you pulled me over and pulled me out of the car, you can search me and the car. You'd have found it. Because if it's in my pants, at least you know you get it right there. Yeah, but you sure put yourself at a lot of risk when you're jumping out of the car with a gun in your waistband. Well, that's, that's why I told you before I jumped out that I had to climb through the window. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me you had a gun, though. That might be something in the future. If you want to decide to carry a gun around, you might want to tell the police officers that. Um, going to be towing your car tonight. Don't have a choice. Your partner there, is, is he's suspended, too, so I don't have a licensed driver, and it's got to be off the freeway. Okay, I'll let you know what tow company has it before we take you down. We'll book you into the Pierce County Jail, okay? All right. Sit tight. I'll be back in a minute. As he was climbing through the window of the car, I saw the butt of the gun as he came out. It's things like this that make traffic stops so dangerous. You never know when you pull somebody over what they're going to have on them, so you always have to be aware. Um, Finding guns and finding drug paraphernalia, usually there's going to be drugs involved. And if they're on drugs and carrying guns, they're going to be unstable. Uh, you can never tell their, what their attitude or personality is going to be like when they get out of the car, their demeanor. Kind of like throwing a wrench in the motor. <laughs> Always makes it a little more dangerous to deal with people like that. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.